Alright, here we are once again, and this is Bush League Baseball on WBYTN, live broadcast of career mode MLB 19, and this is my player, player by the name of uh, Cordova, Antonio Cordova, got drafted by Texas. Texas Rangers, he's in the uh, in double A, whoever he plays with. Let's check it out. Uh, Darren Wise. Well. Hmm. Darren Wise. What's that called? Sparky? Welcome into this presentation of Minor League Baseball Yo. from the Double A Texas Let's League. Go. Tonight, the first Our of this four game rider. weekend set between the Amarillo Sod Poodles and the Frisco Rough Riders. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Todd McCall, a Virginia-born right-hander, gets the ball to start this one. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, you always like to begin the season on a good note. In his first start of the year, he did just that, picking up the win. There's nothing he'd like to do more than to get number two in this one here. Let's play ball. Out. He's three. He's out. Coming to the plate now, Skeeter White. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. First pitch of the at-bat. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. Well, you take a look at our visiting club as they take the field tonight. They come off another loss last time out, and in fact, they've dropped three of their last four. Yeah, Maddie, this team's in the... And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. But, uh, uh, top it up for us. At the plate, Mark Donnelly comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. <laughs> oh, yeah, he has me playing third now. To the left side, Wyatt comes up with it. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. One hits all they get. To the bottom of inning number four we go, and we are tied nothing-nothing. Now with the plate, Skeeter Wise. The third baseman. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get them in, but that hasn't been the case. Well, offered it a low one there, but came up empty. Now on 0-2, I don't think we're going to see any more hittable fastballs. If we see one at all, it'll probably be extended out of the zone, or at least that'll be the intent. Maybe getting a little jumpy in the box, so he steps out and asks for time. And one smart to lay off count. there as the fastball misses. It's one and two now. And he chased it in the dirt. 
throw to first is in time, one down. Play ball. Out. Three. So coming to the plate, Skeeter Wise. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Swing and a liner. That gets down, and the inning will continue. And this will find the wall deep in the corner. And he just blasts this thing down the left field line. I thought it might bend foul, but it lands just inside the chalk, and he's able to leg it out for a double. Good-looking swing. Riding in once again, Graham Bailey, runner in scoring position with Sugan. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. Up and in here as he had to bend out of danger. Some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's not the end of the world if you do. You still need to make a quality pitch. Digging in and looking for more, Skeeter Wise. He'll try to follow up the doubles in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. And he'll be back in standing up. From the stretch. Runners at the corners, two men out. Perhaps even another. One run scores. Here's a second runner around third. He comes across to score. As they extend the lead a bit, it's now a 3-1 to one game. Well, that's a huge base hit right there, dear. Well, we're getting late into this one, and that gives them the lead by two. Yeah, that could be a backbreaker right there. We'll see how this one ends up, but nice job to get that knock right there to drive in a pair. Now that is. Digging in, Graham Bailey, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. I'm set with the 0 and 1. Hops this one up. And that's going to fall for a base hit. And the runner at third will put the brakes on here as they didn't want to chance it even with two outs. So striding forward now, Ryan Beam threw <laughs> out in his last at bat. Looking to minimize the damage here. Pitch outside the throw. Not nearly in time as he took that one on the pitcher. Wise, the runner at third. Bailey at second with two gone. Left side. Alfaro over to his left. Throw on to first and an important pitch there as they get out of the inning before things explode. It's always nice to take the open of a four-game set when you're home. That sets the stage for the rest of the series, and it gives you a good springboard the rest of the way. Tonight's ball game comes to a close. Three to one, the final. Frisco came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Barney Malone gets the win in relief, his second of the year. Matt Davidson. Hammers down the save, his second. So that just about does it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com. That's two for four, two doubles, and two RBIs. Yes, sir. <coughs> Here we go again. Minor League Baseball now on the show as our road trip Saw makes a Poole. stop in the Double-A Texas League. Amarillo Tonight, Saw game two of this four-game weekend set between the Amarillo Sod Poodles and the Frisco Rough Riders. It's baseball. It's the show. Kiki Richardson, a South Dakota native, gets the starting nod. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, Matt, we're getting a look at a guy that's really been struggling lately. In his last three starts, he has a whip of over 1.50.
Lots of base runners. Lots Stepping up to the plate, Skeeter Wise. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Skeeter Wise. First delivery to him on the way. Fastball in there for a called strike. All Fellas are count. visiting team as they take the field after a scoreless top half. They have not been playing their best baseball of late as they've dropped four of their last five. Yeah, guys, dropping yesterday was a heartbreaker without question. We, we, you know we, what? We, you we find lead. a way. You show up to the yard today, you get out of the cab, and you watch countless hours of video, and you try and formulate a game plan to get this back to 500. One and one to start the road trip, and you're uh -huh. moving in the right direction. <laughs> and there's out number two. With a moment now, let's have a look at the home team starting lineup. Mark, what do you have on this? Top of the third. Digging in, Hugh Pena, and he'll start out their half of the third. Top of the order to follow. Pena. Little roller to third. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Play ball. Out. He's safe. Coming to the plate now, Skeeter Wise. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. First offering on its way. In the dirt, throw goes to third, and he's called out on a close play uh -huh. at third. Called out at third, wow. That's and he watches one dip low and inside for a ball, one and one. One out, nobody on. The one two tough curveball that time but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going oh and this is swung on and missed four strikeouts already and that's out number two Now at the plate, Skeeter Wise. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. We've seen this before. Fastballs in, then breaking balls away. That's been his plan of attack throughout the first half of this game. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Divine is calling for it. Makes the play one away. Play ball. Ball four. Take the base. Ready for another shot now. Manny Alfaro, runner in scoring position with two gone. Alfaro. And a ground ball to third. Wyatt. And the off-balance throw is right there for the third out. And a high degree of difficulty on that one as the side is retired. Standing in, Skeeter Wise. He flew out in his last at-bat. First delivery to him on the way. Right down the middle with a changeup, but not what he was looking for, taken for a strike. Now time is barked out by the home plate umpire. Our pitcher's duel continues here. Two to one score as we play the eighth. Fastball misses in the hey, dirt as he one tried one. to get him to chase the low one. And now a soft liner here to the Look, right side. Now. Foul. Hit to short. Pena is there. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. So they go down without a win.
Not a lot of runs put on the board in this one, but here's a guy that found a way to make a difference. He's the top player of the game. He was one of the few time. guys that really swung the bat well in this game with a pair of base hits. He helped. Welcome to MLB The Show and this presentation of Minor League Baseball. Tonight it's the third of this four-game weekend series between the Amarillo Sod Poodles and the Frisco Rough Riders. Juan Rivera gets the ball in game three of the series. So stepping in, Skeeter Wise took an 0 for 4 in the victory last night. He's set and the pitch. Tries to bunt his way on here, but this is a foul ball. And guys, you take a look at our visitors here with the early lead tonight as we play the bottom of the first. Fair to say they're not playing their best baseball right now. Losers of five of their last six. Yeah, Matty, they lost their last game. It was only by one run. They should be able, those are the tough ones, but they should be able to put this one behind them. That's a really tough double play to turn when the first baseman has to field it coming off the bag and then make a throw to second while the runner is going down the line. Couldn't complete the double play, but at least they got one out. Designated hitter, Glover, Joro. First pitch on its way. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. Perfect throw, and they got him at second. Play ball. Digging in for his second at bat, Skeeter Wise. The third baseman, Skeeter Wise. First delivery to him on the way. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Matsui has a beat on it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. At the plate, Skeeter Wise. He flew out in his last at bat. First pitch on its way. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Oh, he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0-2. Yeah, Matty, he's had these guys on a proverbial rocking horse all night. Changing speeds, hitting every quadrant. He's tough two. to hit. Count is 1-2 and two now. The 1-2 and two pitch. To two balls and two strikes now. So, he threw the slider darting away to him two times in a row. Now, I don't think he'll go for it again. I'm looking for something hard inside on this pitch. Here now the 2-2. Pops this one up. Patterson is there. And that's the second out of the inning. Play ball. Standing in, Skeeter wide. Two away here in the eighth, and time's running out on him, Danny. Yeah, they don't have a lot of outs left to work with, so it's time for someone to make something happen if they're going to get back into this thing. This is in the air out to right field. Oh, Young will reach bugger. out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that is... Well, baseball is a game of streaks and runs, so a four-game skid happens to even the best of teams. The key is they didn't panic or press. They just came out here, played their game, and put the losing streak behind them, like professionals are supposed to do. Well done. And tonight's ends as a 3-0 shutout win. Amarillo jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Walter Yamada with his fourth win this season. Juan Rivera was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. Franz Crowell earns the save out of the bullpen, his eighth of the season. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. From our partners Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa, I'm Matt Baskersian. This has been a special presentation of MLB The Show. Minor League Baseball is live and on the air on the show. Johander Mendez is the man on the mound for the fourth game of the series. What's your take on him, Dan? <laughs> at 
at the plate. Skeeter Wyatt comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. Here comes the first pitch. Outside part of the plate, the changeup is in there. So guys are visitors as they take the field following a scoreless top half. They do come in fresh off a victory last time out, but they've been giving ground in the division of late. They've won just twice in their last seven games. Hey, Matty V, you know, if there's such a good thing as splitting a series, Dero, this is the one. They lose the first two games of this series, win game three. They'd like... Oh, and while we talked, that pitch got away and ended up hitting him. So he'll head down to I'll first take my on piece. the hit by pitch. Ready now, Danny Santana. In eight at-bats in the series, he's collected three hits. And that misses. Ball four. A run will come in to score. Riding into the box, Ryan Beam. Ryan Beam. And you can Double see his eight. home road splits there. He has not fared very well in front of the home crowd, oddly enough. Grounded softly to the right. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Leading off the inning, Hugh Pena. And they'll need him to get something going here. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Gets this one down. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Skeeter White. He comes into this one just two for 12 in the series to this point. Soft liner towards short. A fair handed pickup in time. Stepping in, Skeeter White. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First pitch of the at bat. Lifted the other way to left center. Matsui will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. Play ball. Digging in to try it again. Skeeter White. And he's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. First offering on its way. Slowly hit to first. I don't think they can get two. There's one. Turn throw is in time. How about that? They do turn two, and it gets. Well, this one had its moments of drama and excitement. In the end, these guys came away with the victory and look on to the next one. Four to two, the final score today. Frisco jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Johander Mendez earns his fifth winner of the year as he turns in eight strong innings of work. Matt Davidson records the save, his third of the campaign. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. To find out more, head over to theshownation.com. I'm fucking crying out fucking loud. Here now is Christ. our final line score. First for the victorious Rough Riders, four runs on nine hits, no errors. They left ten men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 55 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this time. I didn't do good that series.
After trying this player out in a new role, his team likes what they've seen. They consult him on the possibility of a more permanent role change. The player considers it, though some reservation is evident. The player accepts the move, but makes his long-term positional goals clear. Coach is sent to offer guidance on training for a specific position. The evaluation of minor league prospects is not only the business of team scouts. Sports agents do their homework as well. From the ranks of hundreds of minor league prospects, the next generation, determining which prospects will be those superstars is big business. And getting in on the ground floor is smart business. Clutch hitting has not been a strength for this team. Their manager lets them know it. This prospect has become the object of a notable sports management company's attention. However impressive an agent's qualifications may be, the trading but a fledgling must leave the nest for a big world awaits.
fast developing young player has gotten the attention of the higher ups in management. Prospects may not realize how closely they are being watched, and by other organizations as well as their own. Welcome into this presentation of Minor League Baseball from the Double-A Texas League. Tonight, game two of this three-game weekend series between the Corpus Christi Hooks and the Frisco Rough Riders. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Diego Olivo, a righty from the state of Ohio, will do the pitching in this one. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, listen, you don't have to know much about statistics to know that this is a bad one. How about this guy on the year as a starting pitcher? Left-handers are hitting over 300 against this guy. Let's He's going to have... Out. Three. Three. So striding in, Skeeter Wise, as he'll get his <coughs> first opportunity in this one. Skeeter Wise. And the pitch. Curveball looked at here for strike one. Guys, yeah, you should take a look at our visiting club as they enter play here this evening. Well, they've come in losers of seven of their last ten games, but did earn the victory last. Ouch, that one hit him. Man, not sure if he was trying to send a message early in the game or what, but I sure hope this doesn't carry over to the rest of the game. Sometimes things like this early in the game really sets the tone for problems later, but I hope that's not the case. That's a strike to throw down. Right on the money, and he's cut down trying to take second base. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Greg Garcia. He reached on a single in his first try. Garcia. On the ground to third. Wise loves it. And there are two away now. Let's play ball. Leading off the inning, Skeeter Wise, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. He's ready. Here's the first offering. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1 0. Wise could find himself a member of the All-Star squad this year. <coughs> a nice season. Currently second in fan votes at third base. Yeah, and he's been having an excellent season to date, making a push towards that All-Star game. Hey, fans, get out there and vote. This guy sits in second place, but I'm sure he'd like to be named starter. It's amazing. I tell so many fans, you get in a box one time, the one pitch you're going to swing at more than any other is that elevated fastball. Your eyes light up as an offensive player, and you just Play cannot ball. get it. Ball four. Thank you, so digging in now, Frank Samuels. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. And he can't allow the same thing to happen in this situation. A big time spot in this game. The way to put the ball in play. Throw to first is in time for the first down. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Greg Garcia. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Comes set and the 0 1. Hot shot down the line. And that is a fair ball as this one's heading for the left field corner. In to score, the runner from second. Play ball. Into the box, Skeeter Wise comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. He's set, here it comes. 
outside. And a changeup here misses off the corner to start him out. It's ball one. Yeah, the rain starting to intensify here. It's coming down a little heavier now. We'll see how much longer the umpires can wait. Hey. Well, you could say that again, Matt. It's raining cats and dogs out there. Make sure you don't step in a poodle. I think it's time to get the grounds crew out. Pitch out. Nothing doing. No Three runs already home here. Mm, pretty good cut there, but it's to two and one now. Broken bat as this ball's hit on the ground. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. So three runs on three. Now at the plate, Skeeter White. Third baseman. Skeeter wide. First offering on its way. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Moving under it, Mays. He makes the catch. Here comes the runner from third. And the run is in to score from third. Play ball. Three. Riding in, Skeeter Wise, and he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Here's a hard hit ball ripped down the first base line, and that's by him down the line in right field toward the corner. And that fires me up right there. What a clutch AB, a two out single to get the tying run to the plate. That's all you can ask for. In now, Andreas Flores. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, Matty Lee got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. Oh, and he breaks, and they've got him picked off. And he'll try to get back now, but it's not going to work. The throw hangs him out to dry, and that'll end the inning. A 6-4 to four finish in Under tonight's affair. Corpus Christi took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Mike McCain notches his third. All right. That's Darren Wise. <coughs> Matt Rugg. Let's go. Let's go see what Matt, Matt Rugg is up to. Okay, Matt Rugg, first baseman, let's go check him out.
first baseman for the Jackson Generals. The Mississippi Braves. Game's future stars are on display as minor league baseball comes your way on the show. It's the home opener of this new season between the Jackson Generals and the Mississippi Braves. It's baseball, it's the show, and it comes your way next. Chris Hernandez gets the ball for the opener in front of these hometown fans. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, one of the strengths of this guy is handling right-handed hitters. Right-handers coming into this game are hitting under 250 against this guy, so he's doing a lot of things right when the right-handers step into the batter's box. Into the box now. Big dog Riggs. <laughs> We show you what he did in May versus what he's done so far at the plate in June. Has a look, now the pitch. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. Fellas are home nine as they begin play here this evening. It's been a fairly decent start to the year. Three and two in their first five. Yeah, Maddie, this team is starting to really come together. They won last night. They're playing really nice. I expect much more of the same today. Swing Struck and a miss right on the changeup, and there are two gone. Huh. Struck me right out. Settling in now, Eloy Saucedo. He went hitless last night in a game where his guys could push across only one score. On the first baseline, Riggs takes it in. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So here's the cleanup hitter, Big Dog Riggs. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Play ball. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Big Dog Riggs. He flew out in his last at bat. First pitch on its way. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at bat. It's 1 and 0. Oh. And this one's on the inside corner, 1 and 1. Pretty adamant about working him inside right now. Back-to-back -back fastballs, and that one was able to find the zone. Just oh, off, off the outside plate. that time, laid off for a ball. And he misses low here, so the count goes to three and one. And just when you needed a shutdown inning, a leadoff ah. walk was certainly not on the agenda. He needs a bear down right here. The three and one pick. Finds the zone to fill the count three and two. And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. Now at the plate, Roger Fontenot. He's one for two in the ball game. Roger. Ready with the 0 1. This is on the ground over the first. To second for one. Back to first. And great work by the pitcher hustling over to cover as he takes the throw. Into the box now. Garrett Turner. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Things not looking very good so far in this one. But we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs. And this would be the right place and the right time to get... The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Play ball. Ladies and gentlemen. 
leading off the inning, Big Dog Riggs, and they'll need him to get something going here. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Fastball right back to the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. Digging in now, Big Dog Riggs. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First pitch on its way. Ripped down the line. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. The 0 1 on its way. Liner towards second. And he'll break through with a solid knock here, his first of the ball game. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Boy, so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality pitch on the inside half of the plate right there. Try to bust him in, D Row, and he fights it off the other way. Yeah, you tip your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job by the offensive player. Fighting. It doesn't matter what. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Digging in. Miguel Arias. He came through with an RBI single in his last yeah. at bat. Area. Line to the right side. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. Man, I thought this at bat was over. Let's down. Play ball. Perfect. Yeah, and that's just a punch to the gut of the home fans as they watch their team fall behind in the top of the ninth. Then they can't get it done at the bottom and come away with a loss. And tonight's one run game comes to an end six to five the final the Jackson Generals came through when it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win. It's time for baseball now as the show's tour of the minors continues with a stop in the Southern League. Tomas Huerta, the right-hander out of Puerto Rico, will be the starter. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, we look a lot at numbers from starting. Now to the plate, number 88. A couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. Merka. Smoked on the ground up the middle. And a diving effort there, but it'll come up empty. It's a base hit. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Coming to the plate now. Big dog Riggs. He starts the inning. And Dan, they're down six in the early going. So what do they need to do to claw back into this thing? Well, first of all, Matt, I think they need to start to get some base runners. It's hard to be patient when you're down by six. But base runners are the key to getting back into this one. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Stepping into the box, Big Dog Riggs. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still nope. early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Oh. And he's way off balance with the swing there. Now a ball hit high in the air, deep down the line in left, hooking just a little. Booyah! So a solo shot down the line in left. Home run number nine on the year. And they're now on the board, though still well behind. Yeah, they dug themselves quite a hole, but they say the first thing you need to do when that happens is to stop <coughs> digging. Well, with that solo shot, they've stopped digging. They've got a Trying to pick things up where we left off. Big Dog Riggs, 
Yeah, that Big last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. But hey, listen, a home run is a home run. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Way behind that pitch. It's 0-1. This is absolutely a huge spot right here. They have to find a way to get something out of this half inning. I don't care if it's one run or two runs. You have to find a way to at least give yourself a little shot of confidence that you can get back into this one. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Rowley is going to get there. Makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. The runner from third comes across to score as they try and chip Play away ball. at their... Full four. Take the break. Digging in once again, big dog Riggs earned himself an RBI with a sack fly his last time at the plate. First offering on its way. High in the air and deep to left center field. Rowley racing back at the track. Booyah! So a solo shot here to left center field is second of the game, but they're going to need a few more here as they're still well behind. Well, one of the narratives of today's game has been driven by the long ball. We've seen these squads go deep a combined five times in this one. Yeah, Matt. Your attention, please. Stepping up now, big dog Riggs. This guy's having a pretty good week so far in one game. His last that bat is second home run of the game. We'll see if they'll pitch him a little bit more carefully in this A.B. He's ready. Here's the first offering. No balls in one strike. As we near the end of this one, it's clear the long ball has played a big role in today's outcome. Dan, d -Row, what are your final thoughts on what we've seen? Yeah, just non-competitive pitches in some big situations, Dan, and the offense took full oh, advantage. Yeah, you know, Dero, one of the things about pitching is you want to have location, and it was obvious in this one today that the pitchers weren't on point, and what happens when that happens? Hitters make you pay, and the long ball was a big part of this Inside, one here. Ball one. The count now at two and one. Now the two one is in oh, off the plate. Couldn't be a whole lot better situation to hit in now. Three and one, two on. He's got to be thinking he's going to get a pitch he can drive right here. Here's the three one. And he misses with it. Ball four. So that'll load the bases. And now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. Socrates Brito the next to bat and he's got a shot at history here but he'll need a triple to complete the cycle the three and one pick oh and it misses ball four and that will force home a run now batting Michael Clark <laughs> one for two with a double on his line thus far oh and two count here's the pitch Skied into straightaway right. Moving under it, Turner. He makes the catch. Here comes the runner from third. <coughs> and he will get in to score, and it's a run batted in on the sacrifice fly. Ready for another chance? Jose Samuels. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, always frustrating to go down looking. Everybody does it, though. You'll have a few ABs where you get completely fooled. Look for him to be on the attack early in the setback. Turner there to put it away and finally put an end to the inning. Nine men come to the plate. Four scores. Wow, that was a fun one to watch. A great game for guys with the sticks, but for pitchers, not so much. A classic slugfest, and they walk away on top in the end. 15 to 10, the final score here. The Braves posted 15 runs in this one. Tomas Huerta earns his fifth winner of the year. Jake Ratto struggled and gets the loss after giving up six earned. So that'll just about do it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Aaron. The stars of tomorrow get their shot in the limelight today as the show's coverage of the Southern League is on the air. Ought to be a good one here between the Jackson Generals and the Mississippi. Bryce Wilson will be on the mound for game four. What's your take on him, Dan? Well, this guy certainly could be one of those horses. 
stepping in. Big dog Riggs. And as you check out his righty-lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right-handers. First pitch of the at-bat. There's a fastball to start him off, but that misses for ball one. Guys, we take a look at the home nine as they take the field tonight. Four and two over their last six games, including a win last time out. Yeah, Matty, a lot of things trending in the right direction for this team. They won their last game. They scored a bunch of runs. And let's see if they continue that today. Strike two swinging just out in front of the slider. High in the air down the right field line. Turner moves over. And he hauls it down in the corner. So a rather pedestrian start to the top. Now in the box, Miguel Arias. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Here's the 0-1 pitch. A shot down the first baseline. One there. On to first, and they get the double play. That's one of the hardest double plays to turn right there because of the difficult throw the first baseman has to make. No problem this time, though, and they get the two outs they were looking for. 1-6-1. One, one. No, 3-6-1. Three, 3-6-3. Six, one. Three, six, three. Let's play ball. That hit him. He's got first. Stepping into the box, Big Dog Riggs. Two on, two out for him here in the third. First offering on its way. Line to the right side. Now a dive by the right fielder, but it kicks off his glove. And the run's going to come into score from second as they grab a two to nothing lead now. And now time is called here as their pitching coach is going to pay a quick visit to the mound to discuss how they want to attack things here. The center fielder, Dr. T. Rito. And this ball is popped up, drifting back behind the mound. Oh, and he misses it. And now they'll hustle out there and attend to their pitcher. And that was quite a shot he took as you see him down on a knee. But if there's one thing I know about this guy, he will not want to come out of this game. And from all indications, it looks like he's going to try to continue. He pulls this one into right. That's in there. Base hit. And that'll bring home run number three. It's now a 3 nothing cushion. Well, that was an obvious mistake. Caught too much of the plate right there with two strikes on the batter. Nice execution from his part. Now batting. Now at the plate, Michael Clark. 0 for 1 here in the early going. 0 and 2. Here it is. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. At the plate, Big Dog Riggs. He singled his last time up. Big Dog Riggs. Here comes the first pitch. And a pitch ball out. One, Nothing no doing, though, and that's ball one. Ball and no strikes. Here it is. And they pitch out here, but nothing's happening. Ball two. Gatlin leads off first with one away. Two balls and a strike. Line to the right side, and that'll get down for a base hit. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one out single. That's just an excellent job by the batter right there. Three pitches on the outer half of the zone, didn't try and do too much, kept the front hip in, kept the front shoulder in, played with the opposite side of the field. Quality AB. Now batter. So coming to the plate, Socrates Brito. And he's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. Yeah. 
Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. Wow, this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count 0 and 2 to work the count back to 3 and 2. And he's seen a lot of pitches too. Drilled to first. Backhanded. There's one on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Hello there. Welcome to the show. Ready once again. Big Dog Riggs is looking for hit number three here in this at bat. This is my first baseman career. Matt Rugg. Here's the first pitch to him. And a pitch out. Nothing doing, though, and that's ball one. Last game, I hit a couple home runs. Nobody out, runner on first. Well, she yeah, what, what am I swinging at? Way out of the zone what am I swinging at? One, one one. <laughs> what am I swinging at? For the most part, he's looked really locked in at the plate in this game. Not so much on that screen. Oh, I should have waited a little longer. Should have waited a little longer and was coming in. I'll tell you, that was my hill, pitch. I'm that was that my pitch. Again. Didn't look like he picked it up very well out of it. Ah. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. That was some nice execution on that pitch. Spotted it nicely down around the bottom of the zone. And when you do that, especially with two strikes, after this not a lot game, of guys well, I'm going, going to, to be moving to my uh, left handed pitching guy, Harry Palms. He's playing with Pittsburgh. He's normally a starter, but he's being used as, as a re reliever right now. Your attention, please. Now pitching for Jackson, number 33. Digging in and looking for more, Dan Farr. He came through with an RBI <coughs> single in his last at bat. Yeah, Matty, pressure's off right now. Extended his hitting streak that last plate appearance. Now he gets to get back into his zone, work on his craft, and try and drive something in the gap. Let's play ball. Full four. Take the base. Riding in once again, guy. Big Dog Riggs. On the night, he's two for four with a pair of singles. Here's a look over to first. Just keeping him close. Using 5-3, top of the ninth. Here comes the first pitch. Whoa. A ball and no Damn. strikes. And a big I got something in my eye. Hang on, hang on. I got something in my eye there. Dust, dust kicked up from that breeze there. 1-0 pitch. Inside and he no falls strike. behind the hitter now 2-0. Oh. Well, you can see what he's trying to do right there. Double play situation. Two balls down in the zone trying to get that ground ball. Didn't get him to bite at either ah, one. Now he's behind that. the count 2-0. Two, oh. two balls and a strike to count. Now the 2-1 pitch. Taken. Oh, strike nice two. pitch. Nice pitch, nice pitch. Gatlin, the runner at first with one gun in the inning. Two, two, one more time. A ah, swing and a miss. Out. He offered it a struck ball me way out. outside struck the strike out. zone struck for out number out. two. Um, from sending him through the minors. Oh, wait, right he's there. already there. Got it to bend a lot, and by the time it got there, it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. Play ball. Well, this one had its moments of drama and excitement. In the end, these guys came away with the victory and look on to the next one. And this evening's contest comes to a close. 5-3, the final. Mississippi used a nice fifth inning to take the lead, and they never gave it Mississippi back. Queen. Bryce Wilson earns win number seven on the season. Ernest Molina closes the door for the save, his 15th of the campaign.
So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa and Dan Flezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click over to theshownation.com. Two for five. Our final line score. I went First on that. Victoria a couple Spray. singles, a couple RBIs. Runs, ten hits, no errors. They left 13. Minor League Baseball is live and on the and air on the show. Tonight, an intriguing matchup between the Jackson Braves. Generals and the Mississippi Braves. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Colby Allard has the ball for the fifth game of the series. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, Matt, it's not easy to bunch anything together against this guy. In his last three starts, he has a whip of under 1.10. So we may see some hit and run. We may see some bunting. And we may see some running. Because if you want to lay around and try to get hits off this guy, that's not the right thing to do. One of the top pitchers in the game right now. Digging in, big dog Riggs. We show you what he did in May versus what he's done so far at the plate in June. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. One and oh, the count. <coughs> now, time granted here at the plate as he'll step out of the box. One oh home. A swing oh, yeah. and a miss. That's the first strike. The one two. Ground ball right side. Pass is up with it. Oh, what a stop He's on up. the slide. Got him. And what a vital play there, preventing the leadoff man from getting aboard. Play ball. Stepping up to the plate, Roy Eloy Saucedo. First chance for him here after appearing as a pinch hitter in the game no last player. night. Away, but it's swung on and grounded to second. Scooped up to second for one, but they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. <coughs> so striding forward now, big dog Riggs. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Here comes the first pitch. Fly ball right down the line and left. And no one will track it down. So far this year against Southpaws, Riggs has an eye grabbing batting line, one that resides above the 340 plateau. These are the stats the oppositions look at, being great with runners in scoring position. He has certainly been that, and he's able to slow the moment down. Two quick strikes, and now the 0-2. Oh, and here's a drive. Well hit out to straightaway center. Booyah! Two-run blast. <coughs> so a two-run shot to left center, number 11 for him on the season, as it's trimmed to a 4-3 game now. I think it's time to start pitching around this guy. He's hit three home runs already in this series. I'm not sure what more they need to see, but this is not the guy. I... Digging in, Garrett Turner. He successfully laid down a sack bunt in his last play. <laughs> and not easy to do in today's game. High velocity, exploding breaking stuff. He executes that bunt perfectly. Reined in. Throw won't get him. 
Well, it's really hard to complain about this one because that's one of the hardest double plays to turn. The first baseman has to deal with the runner headed to second, and he sometimes shields you from throwing where you want to make the throw. They should have made it, but that's a tough play all the way around. <laughs> Coming to the plate now, big dog Riggs. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. And going back to that previous at bat when he hit the two strike breaking ball for a home run, something tells me that this guy, when he gets behind in the count, sits on something off speed or the breaking ball. Here's a pop up now. Bats camps under it, and he's got it for route number two. <coughs> <coughs> Ready for another shot now. Mm -hmm. Wesley Bats. Two base hits, Double both singles order. to this point. Wesley. Bats. The two one. Down the first base line. And a sliding attempt at first, but this sneaks by him, a base hit. And now they'll have runners at the corners <coughs> to start off the inning. <coughs> the sun goes down, and this guy lights up. Three, three, pizza. Standing in, Big Dog Riggs. The first baseman, Big Dog Riggs. First pitch coming, here it is. Righty Count against righty as this is taken for a ball. It's 1-0. <laughs> oh. Now the 1-0. Oh. Tried to stay back on the change up there, but this is chopped foul at home plate. Bases are empty, one man out. Uh, and that fastball's too much for him there. One and two. One that two swing strikes. had one purpose, and that was to put the ball over the wall. I guess he doesn't have much to lose with his team down this many at this point in the game. A swing and a miss for out number two, and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. Play ball. So stepping in, Big Dog Riggs starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point, but these guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. Ball one to start the at-bat. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. He'll come home with it. Oh, but it's offline, it. so the run will score. Boy, this guy's having a great a game here so far, d -Row. Home run earlier in the night, and that base hit right there drives in his third run batted in of this game. Yeah, you drive to the park every day hoping your rhythm and timing is on point with that pitcher's windup. And that's exactly been the case today. He not only mixed in that big bond, but now he's got three ribbies to boot. Grounded to third. This could be two. Well, that's always the danger when you've got a lead that's this big. You know there's not a lot of doubt about the outcome of the game, so you lose focus a little bit in the field. And sometimes as a player, you try to trick yourself into playing like it's a close game so you stay sharp. At the plate, Roger Fontenot. He singled his last time up. Grand slam that thing. Fontenot. And nope. that misses. Ball four. A run will come in to score. Standing in, Jose Fly ball Samuels. scores me. Catcher, Jose Samuel. He's set. Here's the three and two. And he popped him up over toward the left side of the infield. Garcia is there, and he's got it for the first out. Another pop-up will Ryan still score Fernandez. me. He's fly one for me. four for the, the game. Fly out. Ryan Fernandez.
Fly ball out toward left center field. Calling for it, Rowley makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. And the run is in to score from third. That was a good controlled swing out of him there, and that's exactly what he was hoping to do. Get it into the outfield and pick up the RBI. Let's play ball. Well, this one had its moments of drama and excitement. In the end, these guys came away with the victory and look on to the next one. 13 to 6, the final score in this ball game. The Braves scored a lucky 13 in this one. Colby Allard earns his fifth winner of the year. Braden Shipley allowed seven earned runs to cross the plate in the losing effort. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. Two-run blast. Yeah, I had two-run blast at least. Matt Rugg. <coughs> checks in with his ball club. All-Star game, look at this. <laughs> a call to the skipper's office can mean a lot of things. In this case, it involves good news.
I'm getting called up to Triple A. Check this out. Woo! Get called up to Triple A. Better news, even, than can initially be grasped. Wow, look at this. Right up to the majors. Wow. Right up to Arizona. You yeah, see? I'm, uh, you're not understanding me well, Matt. <laughs> you're not uh, going, going to Triple A. You're being called up to Arizona. You made the diamond by Frosty. Wow. For a player this young, to go from double A right to a major league roster is a rare and notable occurrence. A fast rising young player is welcomed for the first time to a major league roster. At least for today. Uh, uh -huh. His new skipper offers words of wisdom and inspiration as he prepares to make his debut appearance on the show's big stage. Let's check it out, man. Got called up from double A right up to triple A, right up to the pros, man. Woohoo! Yeah! Got called up from AA right up to AAA. Right up to the pros, man. Woohoo! Yeah! Matt Rugg. Remember that name. Time to get the weekend started with Friday Night Baseball from Bush Stadium in St. Louis. Tonight, the first of this three-game weekend series between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the St. Louis Cardinals. Big Dog Riggs makes his big league debut right after this. Oh, he's signing some autographs. Look at this. Signing some autographs. Alex Reyes will be on the mound for the series opener. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, you take a look at this guy's number. One of the things that jumps out at you is that ERA. It's into the fours. But that doesn't necessarily indicate what kind of pitcher this guy is. If he brings his A game, he can shut anybody down. The problem he's had so far this season, he's been a little bit inconsistent. Arizona. Ready now for the Diamondbacks. Big dog Riggs. And he'll make his major league debut here. Always fun to watch a guy get his career started. Yeah, what a monster moment for not only himself, but his family, all the coaches that have helped him along the way. This is a monumental moment in his career. And, fellas, we take a look at the Redbirds entering play here tonight. Well, they come in fresh off a victory last time out, but they've had a rough go of it of late as they've lost seven of their last nine games. Yeah, Matty, I think the keys to winning today's game, let's focus on the offense. They have to hunt the fastball. They cannot miss it. You can't allow yourself to get deep in the count and have to deal with off-speed stuff exploding out weak, of the zone. Weak first you get 1-0, 2-0, 3-1, <laughs> what I like to refer to as count. Ball. Top of the fourth. 1-0, nobody on. Matt Rugg. Now at the plate, Big Dog Riggs comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And ah, what am I swinging at? Worse than that. Oh, one it's 0-1. One. 
Well, making it to the bigs was far from guaranteed for him. It's got to be a great feeling to finally have that major league jersey ah, on. I couldn't oh, check my swing. And he's done exactly I'm too that. excited. I'm sure he's Even in the pro, jump right up. To himself at moments, had to look in the mirror and decide, is this what I want to do? Ah, I'm you bugger. Like it out on the buses in the minor struck me out, struck me out. Here's Matt Carpenter, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The third baseman, Matt Carpenter. He's set, here's the 0 1. He pulls this one into right, but he'll barely have to move out there in right as he hauls this one in for the second out. Let's play ball. Three. Ready now, big dog Riggs. He's still hitless in the majors after two at bats. No doubt he'd like to turn that zero batting average into a 333 here. Yeah, I know it's his first game, but after two at bats, he should be able to slow himself down a little bit. I expect him to have a nice AB right here. Strike one to start the at bat. Souza, the runner at first with two gone. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Now time called at the plate as he'll step out and try and start it again. The 1-1 one home is offered Whoa, at a miss. Swing in it. He chased it for strike two. Yeah, Matty, not only is this guy using all four quadrants, he's elevating, getting their eye level up with a quality fastball. Hit on the ground toward the left. Carpenter has it. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Stepping in for Wong. Colton Wong. It was a walk in his last trip. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. Hit hard on the ground at first. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And a great job to stick with it as he's able to make the play. Riding into the box. Big dog Riggs. 0 for 3 on the day so far. He doesn't seem to have the idea on the Major League pitching thing yet, but he could turn his day around and ah. hit here. Yeah, he just needs one to fall right here. Just something to grab himself a batting average and let him relax. You're playing for everybody else but yourself at this moment, just trying ah. to grind to get a hit. A bit of a hanger, but it's laid off and called a strike. You know, I think that curveball in the previous pitch had him thinking about getting another one because there's no reason he shouldn't have had a big rip at that fastball. That was right in every hitter's happy zone. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And he ah, struck, struck out, out again. Struck out. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes. Okay, I got to so join the chat run. here. I'll be right back. You made me strike out on my ball game there. <laughs> and your 2021 <laughs> Stanley Cup champion. <coughs> Who is Tampa? The Tampa Bay Lightning. Back to back. Wow, really? He yeah, only won it last year. Wow, good for them. Congratulations. Tampa Bay Lightning right. for but, winning but the Stanley there's Cup one this year. Player, it, no, there's one player named Patrick pitch. Maroon, which won it in 2019, 2020, and 2021. He won the Cup three years in a row. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's wicked. Fucking, uh, I think he's the my, second uh, or third player to ever do that. My, uh... MLB the show has my first baseman guy Matt Ruggie in St. Louis Missouri I the was playing in double A and I'm I was doing series. good a couple the hits two strikeouts you know and the St. Louis some home Cardinals. homers major league baseball got on called the show. to, the, to uh, the office I'm getting called up right on going up to AAA. he says no they're calling you right up to Arizona 
Miles there Michael you go. gets yeah. the start for I'm St. Louis against, in this one. Against St. Louis. What do you got? Hey, this guy's a fun Lewis guy right to watch pitch. Not necessarily an overpowering guy. Has but yeah, Patrick Maroon's won the cup three years in a row. That's pretty cool, do. man. Patrick Maroon. Two, two different teams. Good for him. If you're gonna have St. Louis in 2019. And then 2020 and 2021 with him Bay Oh. I think he's the second or third player to ever do that. Hitless in the shutout last night. And then the Tampa Bay Lightning is the second team to go back to back since uh oh and one. Here since Pixford did it. A double play ball to second. Four. One there. On to first to complete the double play. <laughs> and Vasilevsky won the Conn State Trophy for his thoughts? fifth <laughs> shutout clinching game winner, series winner. Up next for Arizona, big dog right. Riggs. Okay. As he'll get his Up to focus, I'm muting you. First pitch on its way. Four one. Outside, that's the ball. And fellas, we take a look at the Redbirds entering play here tonight. It was another loss for them last time out, and that makes them two and eight over their last ten games. Yeah, Maddie, they lost last game only by one run. Those are the tough ones. But I'm sure they've looked at the film, made a few adjustments, and let's see if they can give a better effort. Yes. Are you the same? And he's no. keeping it down here, and that's a cold strike two. Michael has a reputation as a strike thrower, although that doesn't often result in a ton of strikeouts. A typical start may find him with a low walk total and the ball in play a lot. Maddie, he's what they call today one of those pitch to contact kind of guys. He has good stuff, not great stuff. He relies a lot on his defense and one of the keys, he's not afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. With that said, he needs some defense he behind it because he's not going to get a whole lot of Struck me out, him. struck me out. And a good bite to that slider. Out. Three. Three out. Out. Digging in for his second at Yeah, I made a uh, fucking pitcher. He's to get things going here in inning dong. number five. <laughs> this game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no <laughs> you think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get them in, but that hasn't been the case. No balls and a strike to count. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Wow, oh, oh, what the hell am I stringing at? That time, and he's very quickly down. Owen I really want to get my first major league hit here, and I can't do it. First ah, he struck me out again. <laughs> be patient, young man. Be patient. <laughs> Stepping in and ready for another shot. Colton Wong. Wong. Colton Wong. Last time up. I should Martinez make the players. At first with one some, out. some teams wrong. Wong. Something wrong. Rounded up the first baseline. Fielded cleanly. There's one. Relay to first. Double play. Just like that, this side is retired. So one, no runs on one, one base six. No errors. No, no uh, one left on. Two, six, three, Seventh double play. Coming up, and we still have no there. score. Oh, I'm um, to try it again. Big dog Riggs. I'm over two two strikeouts. The hat trick struck out in each of his first two I'm plate appearances. I'm leading off uh, the top of the seven. Out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this oh, one. Oh, just a inside, time man. This lead -off just off the plate. Try to get on base and ignite a rally. The 1-0 home. Swing and a laser off into foul territory. One one home. No, oh, what am I swinging at? What am I swinging at? Never want to take the aggression away. Look at them go around the stadium with the Stanley Cup. I wonder what it feels like to have a team win it. Yeah? Especially when it's have your team win it. Ah, got me swinging again. We've written a K next to his name. I think I, if Toronto would win the Cup, I think I'd be in Toronto all night. The best I ever experienced was. uh the Greyhound winning the Memorial Cup in 93. I was there for that game. Yeah. I've been there for the, when the Tiger Cats won the Grey Cup before, but yeah, eh? I haven't seen the Leafs win the Cup. Stepping I haven't in, seen the Jays win, win the World Series. I was born when they went back to back. 92, 93. 
but I haven't seen set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. I haven't Down seen but I think if Toronto were, were to win the cup I'd be in Toronto and I wouldn't be there. going home There's until the next day you party with everybody you see a lot of swinging misses on those there's Patrick Maroon holding the cup for the third straight year. Just to win one cup? Ah, oh, I couldn't check my swing. And he can't pull the bat back but in just time. this thing, just to win one cup is impossible. Yeah. But to win yeah. three in a row? That's... To third. No, oh. That's something, just to win, just to win three in a row. But it's hard to win one, but yet yeah, you win three. Ray Malkin, he wins three cups in a row. 0 oh for 4. That's three, three games in a row now, I think. There's going to be a party in Tampa Bay tonight. Oh, yeah. Because they, they actually won the cup in Tampa Bay. Not, not in another arena. They did it in Tampa Bay. So that city's going to be partying. Go. First pitch here is below the knees, but he gets him to chase it, and it's 0 1. Right here, right here. Oh, ah, yeah. yeah. Two. The change up, I thought, was come, coming in faster than what it did. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline, but this will wind up foul, still 0 and 2. My friend. Way ah, it struck me out. Instead of holding up two maroon, you should hold up three. <laughs> he lost again. It's offensive stars, and in this one, he arguably shined the brightest. He's our top player of the game. Four for one. Multi-hit game. Hey, do you know how? Do you know how when they hold the the the, the fingers up for the, for how many times they've won it? Mm -hmm. And the, all the Lightning players are holding it up for two in a row for back to back. Yeah. And I said, Maroon, why don't you put up your three fingers for winning it three years in a row? And the camera pans on him. He's holding up three fingers. <laughs> yeah. He's like, fuck you, bitches. I got three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> why not, bud? <laughs> oh, yeah. Congratulations, Tampa Bay, man. And Patrick Maroon for winning three Tampa Bay for two in a row, eh? Had that Cinderella moment. Oh yeah, I becoming. They went. They went from last place to the Stanley Cup champion. Oh. Oh, let's go check out Chuck Beers now. My clothes. I really want to know what a, how that feeling is, man, with my team winning it. Yeah, no doubt. So, <laughs> I want to see before I die. But it did it did help Tampa Bay when they were like 17 million over cap space. <laughs> wow. But you got to give it to the Montreal Canadiens, man. They they were the they were the 18th place team. And they made it all the way to the Stanley Cup Finals, wow. and they took out Mon they took out Toronto. Sixteenth place team. No, eighteenth. Who? Montreal. Were they? Because they were the 18th I, I, place I, I, in the league. I, I thought there were on there's only sixteen spots. Eight. Yeah, like, but there are the since this mm. since the COVID hit, they have different conferences now. Mm. So it was the top four teams in each divi in each division to go on. So t Montreal was the fourth place team in the North, the uh, the Canadian division, and the 18th place team in the league, and they beat the number one team Toronto. They beat. Um, they beat Winnipeg. Another Chubby team. They beat Vegas, and then they lost to uh, Tampa Bay. Four games to one. Now is the DH, Jamie Harris. He's two for three with a home run and a double. First pitch of the at bat. 
There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. And this catches the outside corner, strike one. What is something that you've always wanted to do? Draw. The one one. Draw? Is that your dream? Yeah. And this ball's pretty well struck. High and deep to left field. <laughs> Lewis looks up. Gone. <laughs> the lead off the inning. We got got had six one lead brought bring me in in the seventh. Third pitch in to the first batter home Solo run. shot here to left. <laughs> his second home run of the game as it's now a six-run ball game. Well, he's as hot as anybody in the game right now, hitting a homer yesterday and two more today. They need to rethink whatever strategy they're using to pitch to him because he's killing them. Joel Carvajal is at the plate now as he looks at strike one. Broke his butt. Splinters as this is on the ground to first base. Alvarado feels it cleanly. I shot her to bat. Uh, so digging in now, Connie Peoples, he singled his last time up. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Dying is right there. Two gone. No, we're down by six. Six now. That's why I'm in, 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 in the seven. So riding in. Joe Rowan. He flew out in his last at bat. And a look at a fastball that doesn't miss by a whole lot. It's 1 and 0. And he watches a called strike as this one bears in on him. 1 and 1. And he misses 2 and 1. And he missed again. High and away this time. 3 and 1. One, one thing that could nag at you as a pitcher is having to work really hard to get a guy that you think you should be able to cruise right through. He's not known there's for his offensive ball. prowess, but he's putting together. Inning the over. Ball. Throw to first is there. The inning is over. You know what? They showed a ton of promise. I mean, so many good young players. Digging in the switch hitter, Johnny Adamson, as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. It's very difficult being a switch hitter, and very rarely do you see the same hitter from both sides of the plate. He's a far superior hitter from the left side as opposed to the right side. One and one. As we near the end of this one, it's clear the long ball has played a big role in today's outcome. Dan Dero, what are your final thoughts on what we've seen? Yeah, just non-competitive pitches in some big situations. Dan and the offense took full advantage. Yeah, you know, Dero, one of the things about pitching is you want to have location, and it was obvious in this one today that the pitchers weren't on point. And what Walk happens, them what happens? Hitters make you pay, and the long ball was a big part of this one here. Okay. Ice that hole. is not the way he wanted to start off this half inning. It's one thing to walk the leadoff hitter, but it's even more painful Come on, when the leadoff on, hitter man. is an absolute burner, and he can really wreak some havoc on the bases. And this is a fastball that's right on the black, but rules the ball. It's 2-0 oh now. You thank your lucky stars when you get a chance to hit behind a guy. Then when I do, hits it in the alley, the alley with the guy on fucking guards. first base. You know probably there's <laughs> a fastball coming. <laughs> goes into third safely. As also on the play, a runner comes across to score. Wow. Wow, they're hitting on all cylinders as the lead increases to five now. Nice Don't job there make to drive me the ball into the gap and turn on the Jets for a triple. Don't make me plunk anybody. Nope. Down and away, ball oh. one. one, one. Okay. Tried to go with the nasty backdoor breaking ball right there. Good job by the batter to take that pitch. Work the count even. And it's fouled away. Fastball <laughs> struck him out. Down and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Now at the plate, Steve Fernandez. The first base number 22. Here comes the first pitch. In the dirt and block behind the plate. Uh, and the run will wild, wild, score on wild the wild pitch. pitch. And the run comes in from third. A lot of people say that I don't have a cage. Uh, having a rough goal here, Joe. Mm -hmm. Chuck, Beers. Oh, no. Chuck Beers is chucking it all away. Count even now at one and one. Still only one out in the inning. Hit out towards second. And that finds base way right up the middle. Base, base hit right up the middle now. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in. 
kept his hands inside the baseball and ripped the base hit up the middle. Now it just got pulled. Right <laughs> what do you call it? Call a man in a wheelchair. The door for the win, and they finished the month with a bang, what? just the way you want to. A close one, nine to eight. At the end of the game in this one. <laughs> uh, Mobile took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. <laughs> Nick Trubiano uh, earns his sixth winning decision in this one. Yusniel Blanco couldn't work out of the third inning, taking the loss. Country boy Chubby has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Log my ERA is 709. 26 in innings pitched. Leading off the inning is uh, Waldo, Waldo Lopez, Lopez. As they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Lopez. First delivery to him on the way. Ball. Too low, 1-0. Here's a swing and a miss, one and one. Beautifully thrown splitter right there. High 80s, down in the zone. Looks like a fastball coming in, and then it just drops off the table. You can get a lot of swinging strikes with that. The one-two. It's a breaking ball that's taken for a ball. That poor kid got hit so hard in his balls that he fought it not once, but twice. And I think that second one might have been a little more than just a word. Oh, that grounder caught him. But he is able to recover as he gets the out at first. One away now. I don't And time now to see quite where that got him. And it appeared from up here at least, and his actions on the field confirm it. It looked like it got him on his drive leg, which could be problematic, of course, for him. Get it, get it. Yeah, yeah. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Riding in, Mario Casto. Two away here in the eighth, and time's running out on him, Danny. Yeah, they don't have a lot of outs left to work with, so it's time for someone to make something happen if they're going to get back into this thing. Did you wind my mouth, please, ma'am? The wind-up and the 1-0 pitch. Ball and a strike. A ball and two strikes. Two strikes. We're in the eighth inning now of a five to two ball game. Oh, now a fastball outside. taken outside here as it moves it to two and oh. two now. That the family of Mr. Charles is able to move on after my oh, litter, but he started it too low as it bounces up to the plate. Jamie Harris would be next. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. So they go quietly here in this half inning. Okay. In now, Jamie Harris. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. They look like they're up against it here. Down three on the road. Trying Five two. The final score tonight. Biloxi led this game we from the third inning on and never wavered. His third of the season. Jimmy Yacobonis couldn't work out of the third inning taking the loss. When James wraps it up for the save is 22nd. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Flezak, and her entire crew. I'm Chuck Beers. Okay, I'm going to sign off for a minute. i got to take my dog out, but I'll be back. I'll be back in a little bit there.